program a binomial expansion with the TI-Inspire CX calculator. Two years ago I created this video lesson on how to do a binomial expansion using a TI-Inspire CX calculator. This video is related to my earlier offering but with a notable distinction. In the prior video we concentrated using the NCR or NChooseR feature. We got to NCR or NChooseR by pressing menu, then 5 for probability, then 3 for combinations. And here is the resultant N choose R feature on screen. And from here you can enter the N value, in this case 5, and with the 0 through 5 in commas. Press enter and get these results of the coefficients of the expansion. What I wanted to do is write a program that would go beyond this action, one that would use the NCR feature as a tool to give an exact term of binomial expansion in terms of X and Y. So let's get to creating the program that does this. First, get to a calculator page. First, press the Home or On key at the upper right of the keypad. Then go to the calculator icon in the lower left of the view screen. Press Enter. This is the blank screen you'll see. Press the menu key. This is what you'll see, what we'll call the menu menu. Scroll down to option 9, functions and programs. Alternatively, you could just press the 9 key as well. I'm going to instruct to scroll to an option and then press enter for most of the operations in the lesson for clarity of demonstration purposes. Keep in mind that just pressing the number of the option can get you to the next step more quickly. Press the enter key. This is what you see, the functions and programs submenu. See that the top item is highlighted, the program editor. Press the enter key to choose the program editor. We see the sub submenu for the program editor. Press the enter key. This is what we get, the new program dialog box. Now we name the program. I name it BINEXP, somewhat descriptive for binomial expansion, but a short name. Next, tab down twice to get to the library access field and adjust that however you would like to do. Then, tab down to the OK button and press the Enter key. Now we have our program set up and ready for coding. Arrow down to the box below PRGM by pressing the down arrow once. Now we start entering our code. Press the menu key. This is the programming menu. Scroll down to option 6, the I.O. or input output option. With the I.O. option highlighted, press the Enter key. You could have just pressed the 6 key to get there, but as I said earlier, for demonstration purposes, I will show the scrolling down, then pressing Enter most often in this video lesson. Note that DISP for display is highlighted atop the I.O. submenu. Press the Enter key. We have the cursor blinking in front of the DISP. Enter an opening quotation mark by first pressing the key under the enter key. We now have this symbols menu box. Go down below the question mark to the quotation mark. Press the enter key. Now enter the text exactly as follows. And this would be in quotation marks. Expand a binomial in the form quantity ax plus by caret n period and the caret symbol means to the power of. While typing in text, two very important keys on this calculator are the shift key to make capital letters and the space key shown here pointed out by the arrows. Here's the last of the statement having been typed in. Now here's the statement scrolled back to the left to see the beginning of the statement. To create the next line of code, go to where the cursor is blinking at the far right of the line of code to the right of that quotation mark. Press the Enter key. Now we'll enter our next line of code. Press the Menu key. Scroll down to the I.O. option number 6. Press the Enter key. 
This time scroll down to I.O. submenu option 2, Request. Press the Enter key. Now type in the text exactly as shown. In quotation marks, enter a period, then after that, comma A. Make sure to type in an exactly as shown, quotation marks, comma, and all. Make sure the comma A is outside the right quotation mark. Press the Enter key. Next, very carefully, enter the next two lines as shown, similarly, uh, similar to how you did for the Enter A line. Do the same for the Enter B line and the Enter N line. You should have an Enter A, Enter B, and Enter N line exactly as shown in the screenshot. Press the Enter key. Create a request again from the I.O. submenu, then an open parentheses. Now type in exactly as follows. In quotation marks, enter the number of the term from the left, in parentheses, comma, you want. And then to the right of that far quotation mark, comma, T. And here's the beginning of that line typed in so you can see what it looks like at the beginning. Now go to the far right, to the right of the letter T. Make sure you have that cursor blinking to the right of that T. Press the Enter key. Next, go through the I.O. submenu to get the DISP option again. Now is the trickiest part of the program, the display of the answer that makes use of these four inputs. You need to type this line in exactly as shown. Type A to the power of N minus T plus 1 times B to the power of N minus quantity N minus T plus 1. And quantity means inside parentheses. Then times NCR, and you have to enter N lowercase comma capital C, enter lowercase, then the capital C, then R lowercase, exactly as shown, then N comma T minus 1 inside that parentheses to the right of NCR, then comma, then X caret in quotation marks, then comma, then N minus T plus 1, then comma, then Y caret inside quotation marks, just as you did for X, then comma, then n minus quantity, n minus t plus 1. There's another way to enter NCR that I'll show you very shortly in this lesson. And going back to check your typing carefully, you need to look at everything closely. These two dots shown, pointed out by the arrows, are multiplications. Here's a series of slides, five slides, showing the whole last line typed in. Here's that first slide. And here's the second slide, here's the third slide, here's the fourth slide, and here's the fifth and last slide. So these last five slides show the whole thing, whole last line typed in. And all this typing in, one of the trickiest parts is to enter is this, the NCR operation with lowercase n, a capital C, and a lowercase r. You can get NCR another way in typing in this program. To get the NCR, you press the book key to the right of the 9 key, shown by that arrow. You then scroll down until you get to this, the NCR option, then press Enter. Now, on with our program. We're not quite finished yet. Back to the end of the last line. From here, do not, I repeat, do not press the Enter key. From here, scroll back to the left, again to the left of the DISP, so the cursor is blinking to the left of that DISP on that last line. The last thing we'll do is go up to below the PRGM line and enter these four lines as shown to delete the variables before the lines of action from the code we've entered earlier. You have to enter the capitals and spaces exactly as shown here circled in red. The Ds and Vs are capitalized and the spaces are as shown. Once everything is entered properly to the best of your understanding, press the menu key. Go to option 2, check syntax and store. Press the enter key. And press the enter key again. And press the enter key one last time. We get the BINEXP stored successfully message at the top. 
Now we can use our touchpad to move the cursor over to the left side of our view screen. On the left side, type in BINEXP, open parentheses. Now you could enter another not name besides BINEXP. We're going to use the program to work out this problem that is now overlain. The problem is, what is the sixth term in the expansion of quantity x minus 2y to the 10th power? Press the Enter key. We get the Enter A field. Let's try 1 out to test our program. Let's enter 1 for A since we have 1x in our problem. Press the OK button. This is what we get, a prompt for B. Let's enter a B value of negative 2 since we have negative 2y in our problem. Press the OK button. We get a prompt to enter the N value, which is the power of expansion. Now let's enter 10 for N. Again, that's uh, the power of expansion since we have to the 10th power in the problem. Press the OK button. We now get the prompt for T, the term number from the left of the expansion. Let's enter 6 for T since we're asked for the sixth term in the expansion. Press the OK button. This is what we get, negative 8,064 x to the fifth power, y to the fifth power. And we see that's our answer choice B, which we can circle in as our correct answer. Now, acting on the assumption that you've entered your program and have got it to work so far, I give you another problem to see if you can work it out. And it's this one. What is the fourth term in the expansion of quantity 3x minus 2y to the power of 8? I encourage you to pause the video here to work out the problem, then restart it to see if you got it right. To work out this problem with our program, start by entering BINEXP parentheses, as we've done before. Press the Enter key, then enter A, B, N, and T, just like in our earlier problem. Enter 3 for A, negative 2 for B, 8 for N, and 4 for T. This is our answer. We have negative 108,864 x to the fifth power, y to the fifth power, which matches answer choice A, our correct answer. I also program the same thing in Python 3 in conjunction with a course I'm taking, and here is a screenshot of that coding. Believe me, when I say it was easier using the TI Inspire CX calculator to write the program. This has been Program of Binomial Expansion with the TI Inspire CX Calculator. Thanks for viewing.